wasn't the title of a horror movie, but it's actually a reality show where strangers willingly volunteer to be dropped into the wilderness. Take a look. Two strangers, one man and one woman, both experienced survivalists, have chosen to put their skills to the ultimate test. Just one victory, please! They have no water, no food, and no clothes. Their challenge is to survive for 21 days. Now we're going. Knowing that the human body can only live three days without water and begins to shut down after three weeks without food. This is the Everest of survival challenges. Can a man and woman survive alone in the wilderness? They can. And afraid. Welcome to the show, guys. All right, yeah, obvious so question. Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> what would make you want to do this? Oh, well, Other than like a little bit of like permanent insanity, <laughs> the transcends temporary insanity, it's really, it's that constant challenge, that desire to look a little bit deeper and sink your teeth in a little bit more and push yourself a little bit further. And you all have sort of that survivalist mentality or background, don't you? I mean, you're very yeah. interested in that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, absolutely. They, 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 they don't want to put people on here that don't know what they're doing, mm -hmm. right? And so, <laughs> I mean, that would be that would be bad bad news. So, uh, you know, we are um, experts in our field, and this is what we live for. We live to do what others say is impossible. Yeah, I get the survival part. That 21 days being out there, and you have to operate through your wits, you know, basically, and your strength. But the naked part. Yeah. I don't forget <laughs> the naked part. Oh. Beyond the titillation, seriously, Jeff, what's the point of that? The, the, the naked part is weird, okay? It's, yeah. it, it, it's awkward when you when you watch it and when you're doing it, but... Yeah, what's that first moment like when you... Oh, oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. That first moment Every bit is awkward as it seems on TV. Yeah. 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 Yes, it really is. But, uh, but uh, you know, really your clothing is your first layer of protection in the wild. Yeah. Uh, it protects you from the cold, from venomous snakes and spiders. And, and uh, I mean, just being without shoes, being barefoot. Uh, my feet got infected, got cut on the rocks, leaving bloody footprints wherever I walked. It, yeah. Just horrible things that, you know, you might not really think about. But um, being naked makes it that much more difficult. Yeah, yeah. That's more extreme. Uh, Adam, what was the hardest part for you over those 21 days? Physically, the hardest part was, without a doubt, the cold. Most of the shows are filmed in these, you know, warm, you know, temperate areas, but at nighttime, a lot of people don't realize the temperature just plummets. Well, during the day, it was in the hundreds, right, for you, and then it would drop? Yeah, it would get up into the 90s, you know, very warm during the day, it was fine, but, I mean, as soon as that sun sets below the jungle canopy, I mean, the cold comes in, and it was getting down in the 40s at night. I mean, we had countless nights, like literally shivering, oh freezing cold, no sleep. Yeah. No sleep. Um, and it just makes for really, really long nights. And you two at least would cuddle a little bit, non-sexual, but cuddle. But you <laughs> did not because you were Mormon and you're married, and you said, no, we're not going to, that. which got her upset. <laughs> right, because you were freezing. <laughs> right, and, you know, the classic line is like, I'm not in it for a date. I'm not in it for, like, a quick night. It's really, at that point, that body heat is like a survival strategy. But we dealt with it, you know, because at the end of the day, like, you're looking at your partnership as somebody that, you're working with that you have 21 days together and you have to deal with very scary things i mean there were a lot of creatures out there in both your locations yeah uh, that was poisonous from spiders to snakes that really could if they hit you could kill you potentially and you can i want to show the clip even where you came upon one of those critters in the wild oh whoa jeff jeff snake you good okay ready okay He's on this side. Be careful. Oh, it's huge. That's a boa. Add a girl. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> And you see that snake, and you're hungry, and you're acting on this very primal level. And you know, if you get them behind the head, they can't bite you. They can't cause any problems. So you just get in, and you just get after it. But I get more applause for picking up that snake than anything else. <laughs> Done it for the good of the world. But how did the experience change you? What did you learn about yourself? Oh, oh man, uh, just the power, willpower, what we can do with determination, and 
Uh, that was, it was an incredible experience. It was a mental game. It was a very physically exhausting, but just um, making the decision to do it and go all the way through with it. It's powerful. Yeah, and you guys are lucky. You, both couples, you went all the way through. Yeah, you did. succeeded, but not ev not everybody has been so lucky. There was a man, one of these, who had uh, seizures, another with malaria. Yeah. You all lost a tremendous amount of weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, Adam, you lost 25 pounds. Jacqueline, 18. Eva, 23 pounds. Jeff, 31 pounds. Yeah. Does any part of you think that the show is in any way irresponsible? I don't think it's irresponsible because we all knew what we were signing up for, right? Um, all of us applied. We went to them and said, we want to be on the show. So we you want know, the, the lawyers come with this thing, sign this if you get bitten. No. Oh, yeah. You got to sign, you know, yeah, yeah, you got to sign it, your life away. Every, yeah. you know, dot here, initial here, the works. But, um, you know, all of us come from a background where, you know, this isn't our first time being cold in the woods or, you know, eating what we can catch or what we can kill. You know, all of us come from a survivalist background. We have these skills and training. So we knew what we were getting ourselves into, and we wanted to accept the challenge. Sure, there's risks with it, but because of that, I don't think it's irresponsible because we were prepared, we took it very seriously, and we, we signed up for it. Um, does that mean it's for everyone? No, it's certainly not. I mean, we... Um, I know one person it's not for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And thanks to Jeff, Eva, Adam, and Jacqueline. Naked and Afraid airs Sundays on Discovery. We'll be right back. You have three girls, yeah. right? My God. How cool do they think you are? <laughs> Not very cool. <laughs> uh, I remember I brought home a